If you don't tell young people this, when they lost everything that they call they lucky to have, they may kill themselves. <laughs> certain thing in life you need to earn, you cannot get. Mm. And I tell you, like it's it's real story. Just a few days ago, one of my business partner was ran away, and he take a quite a lot of money from all of us, you know. And it was, it used to be like very good and trustworthy for people, and that's what I tell you. People change all the time. Market crash, people will change. Okay. Market and, crash, people also change. Yeah. <laughs> and that's when I come back to the conversation between me with universe. I really have that's like a like few days ago, the night alone with universe. I had talked to universe. I really like, you give me a lot of things. Mm. You you really give me a lot of things for the last few years of my life. Like even in my dream, I never wished for. I don't understand what lesson you try to teach me, but say thanks. That I lost this amount of money. I lost this friendship. I lost this business partner. Please just tell me what's the lesson you try to teach me. Yeah. yeah, and and that is the extremely amount hard work for me to manifest something and ready to lose it at the same time. That don't book emotional toward that you get I me. Mean? And if you don't tell young people this, when they lost everything that they call they lucky to have, they may kill themselves. Mm-hmm. Because they don't stable themselves up. Because now that's all they think they, they worth, right? If like that's all you think you worth. dependent on all these things. That exactly, have. yeah. So that's why you see me. I'm still very calm today and not, not many people. Like even yesterday, my friend said, oh my God, you still look so normal. Like you don't even have like emotional, like nothing. Like nothing. That's a lot of money. I like, yeah, but it's a part of the game. You when you be nothing anyway. yeah i'm stuck with nothing anyways as an entrepreneur what's the difference if today i lose five hundred thousand with tomorrow i find like i had not that big amount yet but like few million dollars what's the difference it's just it's, it's just a number zero behind different but if i'm not stable which and again emotional connected with the thing you want and also your energy toward that is very obvious if you are the person who like you want something and you're greedy the universe will know right but you want it because you know you need it to do something bigger or support other people here is not only your family more than just your family your community the world then the the universe watching you it may move slowly the energy but not like today emergently the universe no, cut it it will move like a wave, but it is will happen. And the next wave will be bigger than the last wave. And if you don't carefully practice this properly with awareness, it's very dangerous, right? For me, that's how I see things. I, 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 I have I have been doing this for the last 10 years of rewrite what my manifesting thing and chain, rechain, fix and correct on the way. And sometimes I look it back again. And, and and I I agree. I feel blessed sometimes that oh my god, everything that I've been booked out is really make it happen. Happening. But the pain and struggling I go through is that small now. The bigger the thing you want, the yeah. bigger the struggle. And, it is. and I think that manifestation is just step one. Because when you believe you can do it, then universe when universe gives you those opportunities are all out there. Right? Yep, yep. If you don't believe you can do it, even if the opportunity is right in front of you, you cannot see it. Yeah. Or even if you see it, you are not willing to take it up. Because yeah. you're like, I don't think I can do it. Right? But even you take it, you don't book hard work, you don't yes, dis- dis- discipline, you don't self-motivate. You can't. If, there, if there's no action, there's no result, yeah. right, basically. So manifestation and the lucky girl syndrome thing, I think it's just step one. And then after that, there's wow. It's a bombastic sound. <laughs> there is a... Also, there is consistency, there is hard work, and then there's sacrifices to be made. Along yes, the way. yes, and like the exchange in the way as well. Yes. Because, for example, if you want certain thing, what is the exchange you're going to give? Like, what you have to sacrifice. Yeah. Already. This is this is how it works actually. Mm. Right. In the balance of the world. Yeah. And like what Anne said, the bigger the thing that you are asking for, the bigger the price you have to. Yeah, it's like what? What is it called? The yin and yang, the balance. Wave, uh, uh, the, the balance. Yeah. What's that called? The balancing scale. Yeah, and you scale, and right? you only have 
you only see one side of the balancing skill like the pretty side this side is the invisible which mean like if free gift universe will give you every day for you to solve this so you can balance this mm. right and that is the harder thing because <laughs> this is like mystery box mystery box it's like mystery every... box of struggles yeah <laughs> really really for real and it's not even a mystery box of presents it's no, a mystery no. box of struggle a struggle that yeah. you have to solve and most people silently solve this and they don't want to share but i will tell you true and i know when i say this most don't trust because i used to be one of that i don't trust when my mentor teach me something i said you do you know you do this you will lose this 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 and ah, you bullshit i can have all i will he were right <laughs> He was, he was right. right. He was right. But it's and like I, that. It's like when you tell other people, they're not gonna believe it. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And do like that. That's why I, I sharing this with a very chill conversation because I like. I'm she's sure ready, I'll say that. To welcome people. I'm sure I'll say that will have people like me when we're young, you know, naive and. I can't even think this. I cannot. I will right. tell you why. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I share this in public before. But this know, is a one of the conversation that I have. <laughs> With the mentor. So what? Yeah. So when me and my mentor draft down my life, right? And he would told me, so if you take this direction, then no sex, no boyfriend, no relationship, no marriage, no husband. You want? Then I tell him, I say, ah, bullshit. <laughs> I want all. I I still want to be a successful entrepreneur, and, and I still want to have that, have that. that. <laughs> you know, I want to have a happy family with the husband, with the kid. And he will look at me as like, listen. You dumbest ass, you know. I say you don't know what you're talking. I say that's this is what you choose because you want to be entrepreneur. I will, will guide you to be entrepreneur, but this is what you have to sacrifice. Yes or no? It's a price. You and I will fight with him <laughs> on that conversation. Like I was like, no, I'm not ready for the answer yet. He said, think about it. Give yourself three months. I said only three months. Give me three days. He said no. How about three weeks? And it really, when I come back in three weeks, and this is the very serious. You have to cut your emotional completely because at that moment, when you make that decision, universe know. Some people they will say yes, I'm ready, but when they jump to that board, they come back to the emotional life again. No, the the universe will know whether you're truly ready. And uh, oh no, universe don't know. Universe send you tests. A uh, test. Yeah. Test, are you ready? Yeah. Yes, exactly. I will tell you at that. Did you moment. choose this or this? Exactly. <laughs> And at that moment, I'm very sure, and you know I'm a hit, strong person, right? I come to him, I say, I know exactly what I want. He say, yeah, I know your answer. I say, okay, let's do it. Because even you work with someone, like I have a mentor who co- coached me as well, right? It's, you cannot do alone. And he he will tell me, I say, wow, this will be fun. Then I ask him why fun. I say, no sex, no boyfriend, no love. Damn, that's hard. <laughs> he say, that's hard because... I say you you still young and you in your prime uh, time like physically, when physically yeah. you are attractive and you go out and a lot of guys attractive to you you will distract you know and he said let's see how you know let's see that's why he, he because he and I look at him with the eyes like you don't trust me you don't think I can do it he said no it's not about I don't trust you but love is dumb and sometimes people dumb fall in love and they don't know that either mm-hmm. but this is a fun game to watch because. Some people even take years, years of mature, still fall in love at 50, 60, and they so off on their wealth. So you say it's a very interesting thing to watch when you see your mentee do things. It's like drama. A drama. <laughs> and true enough, this is a real story. As a moment I decide that I go to the park, he explained to me what to do, what next step, he teach me, he asked me to make a decision. Suddenly a bunch of guys come around your life. <laughs> A bunch, <laughs> uh, but you know like that period of, of my life. You know a bunch. Of, you know that period of my it's life. Really a bunch of bananas. Like uh, every night thing that you go out for like business meeting, somehow some guy will come up. To will you. come up to you with exactly your type, with <laughs> with so good looking, so gentleman, so nice, tempted, so charming, so charming. It's so tempting temptation inside you and like it's for a few seconds sometimes you forget that you you broke bro- and and really sometimes i tell myself that my mentor you know i say you, you you shut up i need to i need to enjoy with him a bit right do i fail for the first few years i am i will admit that it's not easy because this 
this side right when you say you cannot do it it's very tough because mm. now you really have to control yourself emotionally mentally physically and especially you are have your evil inside you that keep naughtiness tell you hey you work so hard for you need to enjoy enjoy a life a bit this come on you money yes you work so hard you make so much money come on he not even ask your money just come a on dinner, just, just a dinner, dinner. Just, just just one night dinner, you know why why you so hard, hard to yourself so that's what i tell you about you have to be ready for what you sign up for because that's one night will be a second night will be a third night will be a fourth night and then it take you out from what you focus which is your dream your and your path. goal and this is not only for men women too mm. we have a temptation outside there too when you go and you see another charming guy and a successful as much as you gentleman nice kind how do you control yourself emotionally mentally physically to be treat that person as friend friend here is i'm really say friend like completely like what friend zone like do you like ever go out and meet uh. a guy and you book yourself the energy that the guy no matter how much he try he cannot cross mm. yeah that's kind of training you have to go through never i don't need okay so so <laughs> yeah exactly yeah so but uh, for me it's like tough like, because same thing i need la, because i'm married <laughs> yeah you don't need because you're married so like it's automatically the gut it come up right but for me it's tough because because she's single and available exactly it's like you oh, that's the official single right and available and you freedom you have a lot of freedom of choice and, and time, that's freedom and, also yeah no time don't have much but <laughs> the freedom of it was scheduling and 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 it's a kind of like you meet a kind of guy like in lifetime you were like oh my god if i miss this guy i think i will regret so much <laughs> that's kind of feeling right and it is really universe and even the universe take away from me remember like some guy that i really like the universe will take it away so it's a part of the game that you want to sign up for because if you want to be entrepreneur especially you are a woman it's very difficult because you have family to feed you have if you have children like me even harder you need to spend time with your kid then you need to spend time with your business you need to spend time with your friend and then time for yourself and now if someone else want to enter to your life and that's when i understand what my mentor tried to teach me okay he tried to prove the point to me that that thing is not bad but if you focus in that drama and emotional and love so much you cannot build business successfully like your energy is divided exactly your energy your attention and it's okay and it's, it's okay. okay for you to choose to be a mother be a wife be a wife of the rich man that's why he told me after i said i can teach you that too i can teach you how to be a wife of the rich man and you don't have to be your own but remember as long as you are his wife again you still have to under two person decision and you know how much i love to make a decision by myself i don't i don't want to combine my decision with anyone for now right for now and it's getting harder and harder and harder because you, the practice will keep come back that every few months when you're more relaxed the most suddenly, the universe, suddenly one charming guy will jump to your life and like, oh my goodness again i need to focus my business okay but he was so handsome <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> Oh my god, he's my type. Oh my no, type god. <laughs> okay, but anyway, yes, you need to give up some things along the way. Share and subscribe! And we will see you guys at the next episode of Spice and I. I am Amanda Spice. And I'm Denise and I. Bye!